Good morning everybody. It's actually pretty fun to see the morning. These past few days after the summer solstice and few events and staying at home for so long, my whole day and night cycle is just messed up. I'm sleeping at daytime, I'm living at nights. It's fun, it's fun to see the morning. So today, today is the day I actually break, I break my piggy bank. I will break my piggy bank just to repair my car. But I have to do that tomorrow is the day that I uh, get my car evaluated. It's like a technical exam for the car that we in Latvia have to pass like once a year. Tomorrow is that happening and today I will try to fix everything that is broken with my car. That's not a lot but some things that are actually worrying me for a while. I know how usually people vlog they think of a like a, like a topic and then they make a video on it. In my case it's absolutely different. I just take the camera and I just try to make it as a challenge you know. Today is a boring day, you need to make a vlog, there have to be like a beginning, like a little bit of maybe cinematic something and uh, all of these uh, videos that I make, that I call vlogs, <laughs> I approach them as, the, um, as exercise, okay? In every vlog I want to learn something, but in this vlog I actually wanted to speak about something, why I vlog. So the whole vlogging thing for me started when I needed to make my promotional video of my magic, like a demo tape of me doing magic tricks and everything. I was thinking about making that video, then I wrote a lot of like videographers and uh, photographers and everything and I told them I need a demo. I need a demo and uh, I don't know I don't know how to do this. <laughs> and they said so what would you like in that demo specifically? And I said I don't know. And they said well you should do you should you should know and then we can shoot something. Actually I think that the videographer should be like a half of that half of the solution right? Maybe people didn't have like a lot of time and everything. Maybe I didn't show a lot of cash for uh, appropriate and enthusiasm and everything. I, I needed to start to like learn the video and uh, explain the shots and uh, the angles and everything and the slow motion and actually I found uh, a friend, Nastya, you probably have uh, seen her, maybe, oh yeah, you didn't see her a lot because she was in Latvian channel and uh, this is, uh, yeah. So she actually told me that she can help. I said that I would only like to show you a few of examples. I sent her a few of the Peter McKinnon's videos about the B-roll. Basically, she said, I know that guy. <laughs> if you don't know Peter McKinnon, I don't know, you're missing out. You don't know anything about the video. You don't have the taste. You don't, you don't understand nothing. I will just link his channel down below. You you have to see what the guy is doing and that one specific video about the b-roll you have to you have to see that my god if you don't know who the Casey Neistat is just 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 shut it down shut it down go <laughs> go go I don't know just go walk a dog this is this is pointless <laughs> so I will just uh, leave those channels down below and you can check them out and uh, you will you will know why I'm so excited about making videos and everything so basically I, I sent her uh, Peter's uh, channel I showed her the b-roll I know Peter McKinnon because he's a magician I, I'm I'm a magician, he's a magician and uh, I was uh, shopping at Illusionist where he was uh, like a product photographer and everything. Basically I knew him as a magician but I didn't know that he's taking all of those pictures that are actually like making me buy the decks of cars that they're <laughs> advertising and everything. I knew his work even before he was famous so, so, so that's nice. I actually forgot something. <laughs> Wait up. I did not want anybody to steal my nuts during the night. You understand? Nuts. Let's go. Apparently I have a huge problem with a parking brake and as soon as I started to go, something like... Come on. Yes, this goes on. Beeping all the time. Basically I was here like a few days ago and uh, we plugged the computer and check everything out but there was something about uneven brake pressure. I don't know what it is. Basically nobody knows what it is. We checked some Audi forums and everything and you need to you need to search for the problem. So basically I will check in and we will get back. We will get back to the to the vlogging part. This is actually pretty comfortable. <laughs> I'm always sitting in the driver's seat. This is actually pretty, pretty nice. Clever couches right behind me. 
So, let's get back to the thing why I vlog. I told you about my biggest inspirations, about the Peter McKinnon, about the Casey Neistat. There's a lot of others, but uh, let me tell you that those are the most important. Casey Neistat this is all about the storytelling and everything. You probably wouldn't like him if you just see one video, but then you see the next video and if you're interested in creating videos, you just cannot appreciate all of the things that he's doing about the, the edits of the boring stuff that making everything nice and then I saw that he's making all of these time lapses and then I thought oh my god you can do that you, you you can see how fast the time is flowing and things are happening and even the boring thing if you just look at the sky and you see the clouds it's just eh, clouds but then when when you just speed it up and see how the whole thing is happening that's just amazing that's just amazing and then I saw the whole thing that the Peter is doing it's, it's it's just it's just amazing I always thought of the making videos as this I don't know like oh we we're making videos more you learn more you start to understand more you have to appreciate everything and it's just sucking you and you want to you, you start to explore things for example I made uh, my first like sort of vlog with my phone then I bought a GoPro I don't know why I understood that I need a better sound I understood that I need a better picture so I bought my ATD then I bought the lens 10 to 18 then I bought uh, this Tamron 24 to 17 then I bought the Canon EOS R all this gear is crazy expensive and now I'm just thinking what am I what am I creating actually I don't know if I'm creating something but I'm learn, learning a ton and now I don't have an excuse you know I have this gear other people have and I see how great their videos are and usually people say gear does not matter it certainly helps basically if you have a cool gear and you suck <laughs> at making videos you know that you have no excuse and uh, you just have to be better sometimes that's just I don't know, I want to be better. <laughs> I'm drifting away with all of my inspirations and things and I want to tell you so much and uh, I don't want this video to be like really really huge and everything because uh, I don't know, it's just me talking. I feel that these headshots, the, this talking headshots, these are usually the most boring ones. I need to like put a little b-roll of something inside so, so it's like pleasant to the eye. But there has to be like, these type of videos, there has to be these type of videos on my channel as well. So I started to vlog because I needed to explain explain some videographers that I need a demo and I couldn't explain what actually I needed and I was probably thinking about b-roll but I didn't know how to <laughs> I didn't know even the term I just told them that this is the card and you need to film it like really close from this angle and everything but they 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 wanted me probably to like have a sketch of uh, things and everything but they couldn't explain me like what they were thinking so basically I had to learn the whole video making just to explain what I actually need and when I learned this all of this thing and I start to make b-roll I actually see a lot of like uh, I don't know how to say this but my taste in the uh, videos that I like to see and uh, I like how people create videos I, I, I started to have a taste so right now if I see like people cutting video not on a beat I think oh my god what are you doing you have this amazing footage you have this amazing beat and you just you're just cutting you you're cutting at the wrong spot you're cutting at the wrong spot it looks so terrible just just stop it just stop it i just want to download it like like cut it out like put the music back on and everything and then i like you know like like my inner ocd is is like ah! <laughs> So basically, th at this point, this is an obsession. I know that uh, all my friends say that uh, all your videos are so we, we see quality, right? It's not like uh, it's not shot on a phone, right? So and uh, it's edited great, and there's music, and there's sometimes there's transitions and everything. But I uh, I don't know. I still think that I suck a little. Like let, let, let's be, let's leave. okay. It, I suck a lot. I suck a lot. Okay, let's let's just forget all about that. I can I can. I can rant on that like for for hours and uh, you know you know so at this point I have one extra problem with all of this vlogging and magician thing and everything. I live in Latvia and in Latvia we speak like multiple languages. We speak Russian, we speak Latvian, we speak English and uh, I have a huge problem with all my social accounts because I have Latvian friends and I have Russian friends and uh, I start to post uh, all of the posts in English and uh, all of the people are going like what? 
who are you talking to and basically I want to be talking with everybody all the people in the world who can understand English basically that's should be like like a lot of people right much more people than two million of Latvians and uh, some of the like um, you understand right now it's a huge mess with all of my social accounts I have this uh, Yuris Gavrilos magician magicians page that's all about the magic that's me in a suit with the cards at the events and everything then I have uh, this uh, other Facebook page that's about my uh, like Latvian vlog vlogging thing when I upload the vlog I just take a little snippet of some like a cliffhanger part and I upload to the Facebook with the thumbnail and everything and I just notify people that uh, I just uploaded the video and then I have my main profile of me where's my where my friends at Instagram is all English and uh, then I have these two YouTube channels one of the YouTube channel is I talk to camera that you're watching right now and the second YouTube channel is just Yuris Gavrilos that's basically should be like my main magicians uh, promoting account and everything but I started to vlog in Latvian and I thought that uh, I will be attracting Latvian audience and everything but there's also Russians and uh, people who speak in English and people t tell me just just add subtitles and everything but there's a problem for example if you just subscribe to that Latvian channel and I make some of the videos in English and uh, for example you subscribe because you liked one of the video and then you get all of these suggestions me speaking in Latvian in all of the vlogs you will unsubscribe like instantly because you don't understand Latvian it's like uh, it's 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 crazy it's 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 all mumbo-jumbo you, you you know I could have like one account in every social media and uh, because everything is happening in like multiple languages it's like it's like mess right now <sighs> and this is and this is my biggest problem right now I started this whole thing because I need a demo for myself I, I started to learn video and at this point I cannot make a video for myself I cannot show magic tricks like I cannot make any flourishes magic tricks and some cool moves of the magic and uh, film role of myself you see I need to be on the other side of the camera and like find like an angle or something I need an, a, another guy to film myself and then I will be like questioning everything that he's doing and this is this is this is what it came <laughs> and now I feel a little sleepy I just know this will be hell to edit. Oh, we're skipping in the timeline. <laughs> I'm already uh, at uh, my like technical exam for the car. I was in the car shop. We changed my tires. We fixed like uh, something that is uh, air intake flappy thing manifold, something like that. And the only thing that I'm scared of right now is that my parking brake is slightly malfunctioning at the time. Not always, not always, not all the time, just sometimes. And I hope I can pass. All the personnel is working in the masks and checking everything, so uh, it should be pretty safe. Well, uh, first of all, I passed. Everything is everything is fine and dandy. But I just proved the theory, a lifelong theory that we have in Latvia, that you cannot pass this check without uh, like um, like at least one thing that is wrong with your car. I told you that I uh, just changed the tires. These tires are absolutely brand new. They are made in the February of 2020, and I. I drove like I don't know five kilometers maybe from the car shop to the to the examining station and basically the only one the, there's like a point system the only one point that I got what it says literally it's slight or overall uh, tire damages so basically these are brand new so I don't know what the hell. <laughs> guy was absolutely nice he he just talked with me he saw my vlogging camera he asked me questions about the cameras what do I think about GoPros and everything what do I recommend uh, <laughs> in um, in cameras I told if you need to like film yourself you should probably go with Canon but if you you go with video work and everything you should probably go with Sony because all of the stabilization and everything and everything almost hundred percent camera talk during the examination and the only point that I got is uh, for tire imperfection I sort of know what happened I had uh, like bad tires last year and uh, uh, he probably didn't delete the line and uh, I, ju I just cannot I just cannot blame him because I was extremely entertaining during our conversation I gave some deep deep knowledge about uh, action cameras and cameras uh, and stabilization and everything and your choices buying cameras and everything and uh, 
to be to be like really honest you don't you just don't meet a nice youtuber at the end of the day in your boring workplace it's 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 not what happens every day with nice people so i don't blame him i understand i actually wanted to leave this uh, time lapse in just uh, for you to see how things are in uh, in the city you know that the people are outside there's uh, public transportation there's a lot of traffic and everything so everything is getting back to life uh, after the thingy and uh, actually I'm getting uh, like uh, like reasonable amount of work so uh, I will be able to afford food after the whole piggy bank breaking with the car and everything so the last thing the last thing about vlogging and the last thing that I'm thinking of all the time is uh, value what sort of value can I give to my viewer while making these videos you know when you subscribe to channel there's a specific niche you usually go oh th this is a gamer and uh, this is a craftsman he's probably making I don't know like leather goods or something and uh, in my videos I'm just a magician who vlogs and uh, everything is all over the place so there's not a specific niche maybe a vlogging magician is a niche but that's probably like a yay big <laughs> so thanks a lot guys for watching uh it was uh, actually pretty nice to get these things off of my chest this is something that is happening in my mind i'm not like uh saying ah oh, this is complicated and everything I'm, I'm just thinking about everything and uh i will be going to the shop i need to buy some food i have not been eating i, I, I have not ate today at all except these salty nuts and my god if somebody makes a joke in the comments i will disable the whole comment section and don't you dare don't you dare <laughs> subscribe to the channel like and uh, we will make it in the next vlog subscribe like and bell everything tell your friends about this channel <laughs> about the vlogging magician come on guys this is the this is the cream of the youtube <laughs> Bye. <sighs> Salty nuts. Just, just grow up. <laughs> just grow up, man. Grow up. <laughs>